I want to play a game. I noticed that you haven't been eating your vegetables, so that means you do not appreciate your life. And for this trap, I'm going to make you, uh, I, I don't fucking, I don't know. A sense of morality is so, <laughs> it ain't right. Hello. I am currently hyper fixated on the Saw franchise and I thought I would make a video talking about the things that I find to be so freaking unfair about certain traps and how John aka Jigsaw's moralities are pretty hypocritical and do not even really stay consistent through the series. And oh yeah, I put some thought into it. So um, if I end up doing all these videos, I want to do the first three and then the next three after that and then the last three because there's nine in total. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I don't know. This uh, video will be for the first three movies. Starting off with my favorite out of all of them personally, even though I haven't seen the last three. I actually haven't seen the last three. I will get to those. Okay, so the first one. I have so much beef over the first one because I genuinely feel like Adam was not given the proper chance that Lawrence was given. His instructions were extremely unclear whilst um, Lawrence it was just like kill Adam and you'll get out of this room. So Adam basically he had a key to his um, little foot shackle. When he woke up it went down the drain in the bathtub that he was in. I'm like, how the hell was he supposed to know that? That was so unfair to me. And it's the fact that John, you know, the, the big crazy ending where he gets up and he's not dead, he's been alive the whole time. He freaking like berates him about it. He's like, the key to your, I feel like I have a microphone. The key to your shackle was down the drain. Went down the drain when you woke up. Okay, how the hell was he supposed to know that? You were so vague about it, but you were so clear with Lawrence's instructions. I'm sorry, but I feel like Adam deserved better than that. Uh, another one of the traps um, in the first movie that I felt like was kind of like, why did you pick this guy? He's not even like, there are so many people in this world that you could have picked like freaking murderers and stuff, but you pick a dude that like self harms and put him in a cage with like barbed wire, razor wire and stuff. And it's like, hello, since you don't value your life, you must cut more of yourself to get out of this cage. I don't know, to me, I was like, so you're picking a guy who self harms. Uh, I really didn't think that he deserved that, but <laughs> I, you know, I'm along for the ride because I like the movies and I think they're fun. Do I think there are people in this world that deserved it more than the guy who freaking cuts himself? Of course, like John is so, He's so inconsistent to me, personally. Also, sorry if you hear background noises. Um, but yeah, okay, so the second film, let's go, let's just hop straight into the second film. Um, the opening trap in the second film, the Venus fly trap, you know, the big one on, on uh, I think his name is Michael. Um, he got taken and put into this trap because he was like, a police informant or something like that like he it doesn't really say that he did anything shady or twisted like the man was just doing his job and he got put into this venus fly trap thing with a knife given one minute to cut a key out of the back of his freaking eye i don't know i just kind of felt like what did this guy do i mean they don't he doesn't talk about anything uh necessarily like you know, dirty that he did. Personally, I think the man was just doing his job. Honestly, aside from that one, unless I'm just like forgetting any of them, the house I thought was pretty fun and pretty cool. The twist at the end of the second um, Saw, where it wasn't like a live stream and all that stuff had already happened in a way to like get the police guy lured into. It was cool. Uh, I liked that one. Um, I think that one's, it's definitely not one of my very favorites, but um, I liked it. I didn't feel like there was a ton of unfair traps. Honestly, the worst out of all of them, and this is the movie that bothers me so badly, it just aggravates me to death, um, is Saw 3 because 
You know how John, aka Jigsaw, always talks about giving people a chance and giving people a choice and giving people, giving people a chance to reclaim their life and stuff. Every single person in a trap in Saw 3 was either... Uh, okay, okay, it's a lot. It's a lot to unpack. Was either... Um, they weren't giving a chance, given a chance at all because the traps were absolutely unfair and there was no way for them to make it out, which I understand is acknowledged by John because Amanda set those traps. Even so, even despite the traps that Amanda um, set up that were impossible, um, every other person in a trap in Saw 3 their fate was basically at the mercy of Jeff, who is like the worst Saw protagonist. This is an anti-Jeff video. He is the worst Saw protagonist. He makes every possible friggin' mistake, kills every single person like that he could have saved, all because um, he either didn't act fast enough, which is by his own volition, by just standing there and being being Jeff about it, I guess. Or, yeah, just not um, being merciful. Because um, his wife, who did all the right things, basically got her freaking head blasted off because Jeff decided to kill John with the saw, which was kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cool. <laughs> but um, back to some of the more unfair traps the rib cage trap which has Allison um, hooked up like this and she has to reach into a vial and get a key out of acid. So uh, we know she gets the key and um, the thing doesn't unlock, it still goes off. Which Amanda said that trap, so it was intentionally unfair. But my point I'm trying to get to is I don't feel like Allison really did anything wrong other than being good at her job. I think Ellison was killed because she was getting close to revealing who Hoffman was. Um, but yeah, she didn't really do anything wrong. Does she deserve torture? They could have just they could have just kill, killed her without like putting her through this crazy contraption, thinking that she could have got out. Man, I just just it just rubs me wrong, you know. It's like if you're going to have all these like crazy demented uh contraptions where you torture people into changing and being better people can you at least pick people who actually deserve it i'm talking like the lowest of the low of society not someone who freaking jaywalks and then hello i want to play a little game with you so i noticed that you are always jaywalking so today you must break your legs in 30 seconds or your brain will be blasted out through the back of your head with a slingshot that has a, I don't know, a, a mace in it or something. Like, come on. We can pick worse people than that. John's really got a, I mean, he's dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I just feel like his sense of morality was so ass backwards. Some of the people he picked for his traps, it's like, okay, yeah, this, this person's a piece of shit. And then other people, it was like, did they really deserve all that? Come on now. Of all the films together, you know who's the most sick, demented being um, in the whole series? Is the cameraman who does nothing to stop. Nothing to help, nothing to intervene. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a dumb joke and I had to make it. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. But yeah, I've been rewatching the Saw movies and I really just wanted to take a moment to point these things out that I have been like plaguing my mind about the series and about the inconsistencies in Jigsaw's little moral compass. I don't know. I'm just like, this dude's a dickhead. He picks people who don't even deserve it. And I don't, he seems so like self-righteous, but I just think he's a dick. I never murder anyone. I give them a choice. Okay, are you gonna cover a dude in like flammable oil in a room with a bazillion numbers on the wall and a candle to see the numbers and like 
with glass on the floor and tell me that that's not murder. <laughs> like, any, any wrong step he makes, he's gonna just blow up and catch on fire. Like, how's that? What do you mean you don't murder people? You absolutely murder people, John. Overall, they're fun movies. They're like, you absolutely have to turn your brain off uh, to enjoy them at times, but I think they're fun and goofy and I like the traps and I like the kills. I watch them, nobody really watches them for the story, let's be real. Thanks for watching, I hope you will join me on the next silly video where I talk about whatever the hell I'm hyper fixated on at that moment in time. See you next time!